in today's practical we are going to study about the suspended particulate matter in air at different site in our locality so as we know ki in the surrounding here a lot of air pollution yes and in the polluted air we find suspended particles that is in the form of solid and gases so here in today's practical we are going to study about those particulate matter uh, the solid particulate matter that we know uh, that is like dust pollen grains smoke and lot more whereas uh, in gases pollutant uh, carbon dioxide uh, some nitrogenous gases and uh, carbon monoxide and all so these all pollutants are present in the air which are going to suspend uh, on these such plants like uh, here you can see here i took uh, this plant because for this experiment we have certain requirements so here we are taking plant from different locality here you can see i have this plant uh, this is the road side plant yes where you can see here uh, the pollu this is leaf is polluted yes lot of solid pollutants are present on the leaf you can see uh, dust particles pollen grains are present on this leaf yes and uh, we also have this uh, leaf of industrial area that i have collected from the industrial area that is highly polluted uh, with the carbon particles and all which are collected on these leaves uh, from the factories and all and for this experiment along with this uh, plant stem uh, where uh, leaves are required uh, also we need glycerin we need uh, cover uh, cover slip we need slide and brush so with the help of these such uh, things we are going to do our practical and at last we are going to see our slide under the compound microscope so these are our requirements now let's start with the procedure so uh, now for this uh, practical firstly we are going to uh, take leaves from different location so as uh, we have this roadside leaf uh, you can see from this stem i am going to take two leaves yes i have uh, this industrial area leaf also so i need one this leaf i am taking one this polluted roadside leaf and one leaf uh, i am going to wash it so uh, we will study on washed leaf also see how the pollutant see i am washing it but after that also it will found uh, less pollutant on this leaf so here uh, i have one washed leaf so on these three we are going to study about the particulate matter so what we have to do uh, here i am taking glycerin yes uh, and uh, on this road side leaf i am putting uh, few drops of glycerin few drops of glycerin yes you can see glycerin on the leaf and then uh, with the help of brush you have to rub this you have to rub this so that the pollutants the suspended particles the air pollutants which are present in the air so they are going to separate they are going to collect here and here you can see this all dust and pollen and all the pollutants solid pollutants they are uh, here collected now what we are going to do here uh, i will take one drop of this on the slide so one yeah i am taking your clean slide and one drop of uh, this uh, glycerin which was rubbed uh, on the leaf here i am taking one or two drops and then uh, with the help of uh, forcep uh, i am going to put one cover slip on this slide yes so gently we have to cover this with the help of uh, with the cover slip here so that no air bubble should come on the slide yes and now if you'll observe this slide under microscope then uh, we will found that uh, on this leaf this maximum number of pollutants uh, will be found yes so that i will show you under the microscope the same way i'm going to do uh, with 
the other also uh, you can see this is uh, the industrial area leaf which i have taken and again the same manner uh, you have to put a glycerin on the leaf yes few drops of glycerin and again uh, you have to rub this here i am using another brush yes you have to rub this and again you have to take on the slide and you will found that uh, this industrial area leaf will be more polluted than the road side leaf yes and in the same manner here i am going to take a drop of uh, this glycerin on the from this industrial area leaf and again you have to cover this also with the cover slip and this slide also we will see under microscope always uh, the industrial area uh, leaf the suspended particles on this leaf will be more than the road side yes another if we are seeing uh, the inside plants yes indoor plants so they are always less polluted so to study that only here i took this leaf that is washed leaf yes here also we will do so for that on this leaf also either the indoor leaf or this washed leaf here i am taking few drops of glycerin and again we have to rub this yes uh, to separate or to collect the suspended particles which are present on the leaf and uh, in the same manner just rub this and uh, this also these particles found on this washed leaf again i am taking a drop on this slide and again you have to cover uh, this with the cover slip and what you are going to found that uh, this leaf will be uh, very less polluted or we can say very minimum or uh, uh, very few Uh, pollutants will be found on this washed leaf but definitely you are going to get some pollutants on this leaf also yes so in this way we are uh, able to find the suspended part, uh, particulate matter present on the leaf uh, which we are uh, here we are taking from the different location yes so as uh, this uh, what are these suspended particles which are present in the air so Uh, in the air we know air pollution yes air pollution so in the air pollution here lot of uh, uh, polluted things like solid pollutants and some gases pollutants are found and which are very harmful for the human being for any organism for the plants for everyone yes as we are living in the atmosphere and uh, Uh, if air is polluted so we are also going to get some disease yes it will affect adversely on our respiratory system it can cause lot of disease like asthma and all even uh, uh, it can cause various allergic reaction also even for plants here if uh, you can see if uh, on the plants if it is polluted as dust particles comes on the leaf surface what will happen here it is going to block the stomatas yes stomatas are present on the surface of the leaf so what will happen these uh, particles these polluted things they are going to block the stomata they are covering the stomata so that the what is the function of stomata so the stomatas are very important for exchange of gases even for photosynthesis and all so adversely uh, these pollutants are going to affect the uh, rate of transpiration and rate of uh, this uh, photosynthesis also photosynthesis uh, will be reduced and it will affect on the plant so in this way uh, this is very important to find this and in this way we have done and we made these slides and now we are going to observe this slide under microscope and find uh, we will see ki what kind of particulate matter are seen going to see under microscope so now you can see this is compound microscope and this is my slide and now uh, just put this slide under the microscope and if you'll uh, adjust the microscope under uh, high or low power in both the power you can easily observe and if you'll see so here we can see here i have taken uh, the road side leaf which is highly polluted and if you'll observe under the microscope here i can see a uh, lot of pollutants uh, Uh, which you can see here on the screen also lot of pollutant that is microscopic view and uh, where uh, i can see uh, the circular part that is uh, the pollen grains and lot of dust particles and uh, 
uh, mist and all smog lots of things some black particles also i can see okay so this is our road side now here uh, this is what what i am taking that is what uh, washed leaf so let me uh, set this yes so now in washed leaf also see you had seen i washed the leaf Uh, with the water yes flowing water but then also i could see a uh, very less pollutant only few pollen grains i can see on the leaf so uh, in this way i can found uh, that the leaf which uh, we got from different locality in that uh, the road side or industrial area leaf if you are going to study they are highly polluted and maximum number of pollutants are present which you can see on the screen and uh, uh, whereas uh, the indoor plants leaves and uh, with the wash leaf always uh, with the very minimum or less polluted or no pollutants yes so in this way we have completed our practical okay so in this way we have completed and now uh, i want to conclude like the leaves of plants from roadside and industrial or uh, uh, they uh, more pollutants are accumulated on those such leaves yes then the indoor plants and this indicates higher pollution in the area so here in our experiment we had seen the highly pollutant leaves are from industrial area that you can see industrial area leaves are more pollutant than the road side and indoor leaf very less pollutant yes now students now in this way we have completed now it's time for you to make your slide so everyone stand up and start making your slide here we have leaves and we have to use these leaves to separate the pollutants make your slide and show me Yes, everyone is doing. very good show me your slide yes now you can see under microscope go to window side microscope show me your slide beta okay take one more drop show very good okay so many pollutants yes good what's your observation beta shamni have you seen your slide Yes, Shami. I can see highly polluted uh, particles on the. Very good. Yes, Peter. Yes, I am very highly polluted. Very good. Uh, so in this way, all the students they have done their practical and they made their sl slides. and uh, they all are so much excited as now they know about the air pollutants and as they had collected uh, the particulate matters on the leaves yes have you all done yes ma'am yes thank you ma'am thank you ma'am okay beta chalo we are ending with the practical now very good 
वेरी नाइस एवरी वन हैज मेड दिस लाइन वेरी गुड वेरी नाइस